Sophia, the honey badger. Martin, we're here at the Jiu-Jitsu World League World Championship. And uh, what's different about your gi? Well, if you haven't already noticed, I actually got promoted to blue belt just yesterday at the belt promotion at Mafra Checkmat in Hesperia. Weren't you supposed to be green? I mean, most 15-year-old girls go to green before they go to blue. I was supposed to, yeah. That's what we are all thinking. I was actually in orange belt before this, so I literally got jumped up two belts. It was insane. Like, you can see the surprise on my face when they were putting on my belt and stuff, I'm sure. You, you could see the footage. surprise on my face as well. I, I couldn't believe it. Yeah. So why do you think Marcelo uh, promoted you to blue belt at 15, skipping green belt in an entire year of training? I mean, I'm one of the few students that he has who's like still kind of teenage years because usually he either has only little kids or adults. I'm one of the few people there and I'm one of his most devoted like gold winning students really. I don't always go to every tournament but most every tournament I go to I bring back gold from him so. Aren't you doing other tournaments as well? Yeah I also am doing two other martial arts and bringing back gold for those so. And what are those? Uh, so like Muay Thai, kickboxing and judo. So you're a champion in Muay Thai, kickboxing, judo, and jiu-jitsu, and that might be one of the reasons that he bumped you up to blue at such a young, tender age? Yeah, not to mention, I like whenever I can, go to the adult class, and he can see my skill there, which is something that not many other kids can do. Say. Well, you smoked everybody your age. Now you're smoking adults. So today, we don't know what's going to happen. You're fighting blue belt females up to 17 years old, up to 160 pounds. Any predictions? I mean, obviously one can tell. I'm really putting myself out here this time. Um, it's really, I'm not sure if they're gonna be guard pullers like I've seen most of the time, but I'm pretty confident in my judo and, you know, I hope things go well. If I can get her down uh, within first contact, then I'm sure I'll be able to keep her there. Okay, we got to talk about strategies. Bonsai roll, bonsai charge, if we're just going to go up, try to get fitting. But um, let me tell you what Coach told me about why you're blue. You're the only one out there, out there practicing judo and Muay Thai and bringing home gold in jiu-jitsu. So basically, you're setting out your own path, your own way. You're not doing one sport, you're doing every combat sport with the intention of going into MMA. Because who are you? The honey badger. Hand me your gi. And what do honey badgers do? They take what they want, which is the logo and the philosophy of Setter, your sponsor, don't follow the others. Make your own path and they will follow you. Cut your own way, cut your own path. You determine what is the best way to fight. You add a particular style change to this fight or that fight to be unorthodox. In other words, you're a trendsetter, yes? Yes. Okay, any words of congratulations or thank yous you wanna to say to your, your sponsor? Well, I mean, I, again, I would like to thank my sponsor for all the cool gear they've given me and also for just believing in me enough to make them their one and only, like, fighter so far. I don't think they've reached out to anyone else yet. Well, they got little uh, little Allison, and she's That's up and true. coming. She's part of Team Badger, Badger Commander and Badger One. Okay, we're going to check in with you after the fights, and hopefully it's all good news. But regardless, we're swimming in deep water where the big fish and the whales swim. So yeah. if we get caught short today, we'll come back and we'll fight them again tomorrow and the next day and the next day until they quit or we beat them, one or the other. Because honey badgers never get up. Honey badgers take what they want. Okay, we'll check in with you later, Sophia.